Yeah. Well, it's less comfortable. We have all our sheets here, the winches. So that's for the head cell sheet. Same thing on the other side. That's our main cell sheet right here. I'll come around. And uh, our navigation equipment here. So it's a chart plotter. That's the, on the right of it, that's the autopilot control. And this talks together so we can have the boat you know, follow a route or something. Our engine controls are here. Usually it's mostly like a foot control. Yep. And or a then, kick control. <laughs> yeah. And then in the back are outboard engine steers with the tiller. It's very useful for, for docking. It helps a lot maneuvering. Yep. And out the back, if we open this gate. Um, well, that's our autopilot. So for the autopilot to function, this is the actuator. So it hooks up the tiller and then the autopilot can control the boat. Perfect. And then we can swim off up here. There's a swim ladder like that. Yep. Very simple, but it works well. Up here, uh, we have our fuel tank under here. So it's uh, one of those, uh, go back girls. <laughs> one of those simple red fuel tank in there. There's room for a bigger one, but we just carry jerry cans. Okay. Fill it when needed. When needed. And then, and the floor here is what we call the garage because it's just a big storage. It's mostly empty, um, but we'll have some lines in there and fenders. And if you look towards the front, that's our refrigerator, compressor, and uh, the uh, battery charger and inverter. And on top of the cabin, we have all our halyard controls. So main halyard, spinnaker halyard, Alt hull is here, and then screecher halyard, spinnaker tack, Cunningham, and reef number one is here. Reef number two goes on the other side, but it's not around right now. Okay. Um, of course, you know, trampolines on each side. Insane amount of storage in the Amas, but we don't really use it because it's just too much storage. Yeah. There's no need. Yeah. When we go on vacation, we have gas, like all our cherry cans in one. All the sails in the other one, you know, a screecher, a spinnaker, maybe a spare gym that we have. Yep. Lawn chairs. Yeah. Uh, bean bags. Bean bags. Um, yeah. Can come towards the front. Okay. Don't trip. Okay. So, we have our gym on the further uh, with two sheets. Uh, it's a uh, sailboat. Yeah. What are these things? Well, there's two things there. Um, these are the shrouds for the mast, so it's a rotating mast. There's one head stay and two shrouds and two running back stays. So those are the running back stays. Okay. Those have to be adjusted often because when we're off the wind, the mainsail will touch it at the top, so we have to, to loosen those up. These we don't play with often, but they are pretty easily adjustable through the, the purchase here and the, and the sheet winch. But yeah, we have yet to experiment with that right. sailing. I kind of set it once and forget about it. Yep. Okay, let's go under the boom and inside the boat. Okay. Or down below, I guess the proper way. Do, does Rose want to show the proper entrance? Rose, come here. Come on. Go inside. Let's go. Get in. Rose, get in. Can go down the ladder. <laughs> I go forward, some people go backward. Whatever. Okay, so the inside is very small, but it consists pretty much of these two bench, which are either being sat on or full of stuff. How many people can sit? Yeah, four, six maybe. Yeah. Even if you're six, you're pretty cramped here. 
and then forward to port is the head. A very simple head with a black water tank and it uses you know water from the lake to, to go in the toilet. Got it. And then to starboard is the bedroom. Cool. So it's a pretty big bed. How tall are you? I'm 5'10", so there's about 6 feet here. Very nice. Um, I think if you're taller than 6 feet, you'll have to duck it a little bit. Yep. But we don't, you know, hang out in here so much, standing up, mostly for cooking. Yep. All right, let's show the kitchen and the bedroom. looking half um, is the kitchen area so it's kind of around the stairs uh, we have our sink on the right typically on the left right here we put a either like butane cooked up or electric cooked up uh, this is where we make food there's quite a lot of storage back there and then um, also storage everywhere on the sides those are what we call our COVID snacks. Because they're individually packed, but uh, should more because it's convenient. Same on this side. You got uh, some hats and extinguisher and whatnot. And then here, the port is the electronics. We got the radio, VHF, all the breakers, the little whiteboard for for taking notes and just remembering important numbers. We've got electric water pump, so when you open the tap, it just runs fresh water. Oh, and we have a fridge too. Here, mostly filled with drinks. Usually you do a bottom layer of drinks and then all the food on tops. 